Your witness, Mr. Fleck. Mr. Puddles. Gary Puddles? Tell me, sir, is that your God-given name? Yes. Really? Really? Your last name is Puddles? <laughs> Why, it sounds like a, a joke. Well, it's not. You expect us to believe that your last name is Puddles? Puddles? <clears throat> Mr. Fleck, where is this going? As I said, I'm not going to let you turn my courtroom into a circus. OK. Uh, um, with all due respect, Your Honor, I don't think it's a little late for that. Don't try my patience. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Puzzles, earlier this afternoon, you testified that you saw me stab Mr. Kleinman Menhoff in the neck a couple of times, correct? Kleinman Hoffer. Yes, I saw him. Mm. And what else did you see that day? He was stabbing him in the eye and bashing his head into the wall <laughs> many, many times. Yes, but uh, Randall was a bit of a bully, wasn't he? He didn't deserve to die. No. Uh, never mind. Gary, did you catch my act on the Murray Franklin show later that night? No, I didn't. No? Might I remind you that you were under oath? I was locked up at the police station in an interview room. So they thought you might come and kill me. I was the only witness. They kept me in there all night. Isn't that convenient, Mr. Puddles? You didn't see the show. You didn't see anything I, I had to say. I can't believe it. Mr. Fleck. OK. <clears throat> uh, when you were in my mama's apartment, God rest her soul, when, as you say, you saw me bash Mr. Kleinerman whatever's head into the wall many, many times, did I seem crazy to you? Did I seem like a different person? Or was I the same old joker that I always been? Arthur, don't tell us yourself. It isn't you. Is it me? So you don't think this is me? Well, maybe, maybe you don't know who I really was. Well, I never saw that side well, of maybe you. Maybe you weren't looking. Maybe no one was because nobody knew I existed. But look around, look at all these people, everyone outside, these cameras. Who do you think they see, Mr. Puddles? Joker. Oh, sweet child. What you are proving here today is that you are no different than any of those people that underestimated me. From Murray Franklin to those goddamn fat, stupid guards at Arkham that think that they can treat me like trash. But I will no longer allow you or you or you or any of you to keep me down. I am free. Why are you doing this to me, Arthur? What? Gary, I like you. I told you I wouldn't hurt you, and I didn't. Not hurt me. I couldn't go back to work. I still can't sleep, and I'm scared all the time. I never used to be scared. I'm scared right now here, with you in front of me. I couldn't do anything that day. I felt so small. I was reminded of how powerless I really am. Oh, you got a flair full of dramatic. You are tugging at my heartstrings, little Gary. 
No more, no more questions, Hannah. Do you know what that feels like, Arthur? You were the only one at work who never made fun of me. You were the only one who was nice to me. I said, no more questions, Your Honor. 